Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I'm finally getting around to reviewing the uh, Armadillo. This is not that new. It's maybe, what, three months old, two months old, something like that. Very, very cool looking toy. I've been very jealous of seeing people with theirs in hand and mine have been stuck here in England. I've got two, but obviously I'm going to open one for the purpose of this review. Does look really cool. I do like the look of it. Nice looking uh, ship, stroke drop ship. Show some of the features, how to assemble, what comes with it. We can see in the box there uh, a button. Oh, that's really cool. So the button undoes the back doors. Look at that more. You can see a picture there. More of that uh, a bit later. It's a nice dealing set. It needs a bit of uh, paint work to make it pop. On the back, it shows you that the side door slides, the back door pops open. Figures in the back, in the cockpit, and standing in the side. I'm wondering how much space it's got. It's not huge, but how many figures you can fit inside. I did review just very recently the Chapmay Storm dropship, which ship which can fit at least five, possibly six, maybe even seven figures inside. Um, but this won't fit that many. But it's a very, very different design. It looks more troop transporter. Than the chap may one but very very cool indeed okay let me pause this and release this from its plastic prison and come back and let's get into this okay here it is it does look really nice i do like the compact nature and the sort of uh the fact that it's got like the upper part for the for the pilot the lower part for the uh troops i guess let's get a bit of a look you see that it does splay out towards the bottom very very nice underneath there is some detailings a little bit on underneath the cockpit is a bit of a bit messy on the join there but that's okay back pretty nice detailing on the engines we'll need a bit of quite a bit of paintwork to make that pop doors look pretty cool cockpit does look nice when it's closed open we'll have a look at these sort of inlets here look pretty cool again and looks pretty cool and there's this whatever I guess I'll call that a gun on the front. I thought I'd want something a bit more than that, a bit more substantial. So let's get a look at features. So let's do cockpit first, which way, okay. So the cockpit is pretty nice, but it does appear to be pretty bland inside on the sides, but it is lots of space, but there's nothing really for the uh, pilot to hold on to there to control. We'll look at putting a figure in that, uh, starting now actually. Again, I use my Fortnite Omen because he's quite big. And he is just swallowed up in there. That will fit most of your 118 scale figures. Uh, that will fit, I'm imagining, a 40k Space Marine as well. It's so quite wide and deep there. Very, very comfortable for your figure to be inside there. You could... Can you make that into a two seat? You could possibly... Mm, you have to cut away maybe part of the control panel. I'm not sure. I think you can make that into a two seater. Because he's in half there. So that is a possibility if you are very creative, want to unscrew and screw back together and cut bits of plastic and whatnot, you could do that. Uh, you can see these two little rails in the back and side there. They appear to be for the sliding side doors. Um, let me see. Oh, that's really nice. That is fantastic. I love that. Just like your sort of your your minivans. Quite well engineered, not the best engineer, but it works quite well. In fact, it's probably easier with your hand from the inside, but you can just put down here, pick up here, and slide along. Let's get an idea of that door size, get my figure again. So it's not as big as your figure. If you've got a smaller figure, so I've got one of the old Chat May figures from the uh, storm I reviewed the other day, and he's almost fitting underneath, but it's big enough. Because your troops would be inside and then they would duck their heads down to come up. Pretty cool. Uh, there appear to be two foot pegs inside. So you can put two people uh, fixed in place. There's a nice but basic ladder going up to the uh, cockpit section too. So there's no door at the top. All is going up to it appears to be is the back of the seat. But... It's still a nice feature to have inside. Uh, the back door was the button. Very nice. Opens from the top. That releases the bottom on a spring. You've got some pegs here, which you could put in their little missile launcher, rocket launcher thingy, I'm guessing. 
There. But if that's in there, it can't close because of that seat thing. Does that come out at all? I'm not sure if that can be taken out, whether it's pegged in or not. I'm hoping it can come out. I, for that, I'd have to probably open it and try to dislodge that. Uh, I wouldn't want that in there. I think it's just going to get in the way of figures and stuff, that little white part. And then the other side door, I'll do from the inside because my hand's there. Very easy. Very, very nice. This is a lovely ship. Really, really good. Um, again, you're going to fit possibly two figures in the in the cockpit if they're smaller. And you're going to get... Um, I mean, we're talking about standing up nicely. It might be an idea to shave off those pegs there on the inside. See the two pegs. And to glue in some proper action figure bases for action figures and use of this. And you could probably get at least four possibly six bases in there so you could get six and two eight you could take that off put another two and you could you could maybe 10 possibly 12 out of push figures in there i'm gonna say probably probably eight figures but you could possibly up to 12 in there if you glue in the action figure bases that would be a good idea they can stand up and they can be ready now to close the back door it's just to push and pull push down this and it locks into place then when this is Depress the button, this one should come up first, and the door comes down. Looks like a face, you've got two eyes and some teeth. Rawr. Very, very nice ship. I wish there was some more detailing inside there. But it does look good. You know, some panel lining, even with the same colour scheme, some panel lining will make this look really quite cool. Something I'm going to add to my list of things to paint in the future. I've seen them one or two repainted already, they do look really quite nice. Love the sliding doors. I like this a lot. Um, let me just quickly do a size. Now, I didn't do a, I didn't do a size on the um, Chatmay Storm, but let's do a quick size on this. So from aerial to the back is about 13 and a half inches or about 34 and a half, 35 cm. Height to the top of the tail fin is just under nine inches or around about 22 and a half cm and then the width the widest part will be tail fin to tail fin looking at about nine inches possibly which is around about 20 23 cm pretty good size let me do a quick comparison i'll compare this first not to the uh Storm we'll a bit later. I'm gonna compare it to Jack's Sky Fighter from Cyber 9, which is really nice. Uh, but the cockpit needs to be slightly bigger for your modern figures. I reviewed this the other day. This isn't this is like from 1999. And you can see there's a big difference in size. Now this cockpit was slightly higher. This would be superb because my little I mean he can't fit inside, but Paint them up, they can match, they could work in the same universe. Those sort of ma almost matching cockpits do make them look nicer. But this one is nicer inside than the interior, just that I wish my bigger figures could fit more nicely and not have that cockpit stuck open. Very cool. And then I will try and squeeze somehow the storm in, but I have to have the wings closed because it's just too big. Doesn't hold as many figures, but it is huge. <laughs> Got a better, needs to have plastic, as I said in the review for this, put inside the holes. But I think it's a nicer ship, and he got like this little nice gun with the cool sound effects. So yeah, the Armadillo is a very nice ship indeed. Glad to have two of these in my collection, which in about 20 years time, I'll get around to painting up when I'm back in UK for ever or very, very long term. If you like sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon link in the video description below. You get entries included into our prize draws and raffles. You get to see content like this much earlier than when it's published and you get exclusive and behind the scenes content sometimes too. Okay, stay happy, keep collection, a uh, collection, keep collecting, uh, 
subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already, and I'll see you in the next toy video. Stay happy. Bye-bye.